Hello everybody and welcome to my updated video on this HP signal generator. Just wanted to touch bases with you and, and uh, let you know where I'm at with this so far. Still, uh, still don't have it up and running. Having issues troubleshooting it. I, I can only spend uh, X amount of hours on it because of the, the eyeballs after a while. The uh, strain really takes toll and I have to rest so um, speaking of which as you know uh, a few videos ago or so I told you I had uh, eye issues up to that point in time I had not uh, disclosed that fact and I stated that uh, surgery soon well I went and see my doctor and sometime in April that will happen I don't know exactly when they'll get back to me on that. So until then, uh, just uh, deal with it. Anyway, back on topic here. I want to uh, thank everybody who had jumped in and gave me guidance and suggestions. Uh, I, I definitely appreciate all and any input. Uh, as stated, this is definitely above my pay grade. I have not done anything this extensive up to this point in time I've been really lucky at uh, just cheap and cheesy uh, capacitor replacement replacements uh, some resistors and you know few cheesy things as such um, it's not that I've steered away on a a particular reason it's just the my junk well that's really all that's all that's been wrong with it uh, and everything that you see me do, for the most part, is all my junk. So with that said, speaking of my junk, let's uh, let's move forward on this. Oh, I wanted to uh, sp uh, specifically recognize um, Video Lab Guy for just jumping in there and uh, immediately pointing me again in the right direction. So thank you, thank you very much. And for those that are not by all means please go subscribe to his channel and support him he's awesome he's into video and I mean um, vintage and I mean vintage video cameras and gear uh, think tube type and whatnot definitely have the uh, skills to pay the bills and I of course cannot uh, forget Westell audio he has uh, definitely been helping me a whole bunch guiding me almost uh, hand-holding me uh, to some degree on this and uh, so my, my hat off to him most definitely anyway uh, I rambled on long enough with that but I, I, I definitely wanted to give props where props is due um, so here's what I've done um, I have tested these out of socket per uh, Westel Audio's uh, suggestion and hooking them up to my uh, power supply here's uh, here's what I've got on that I won't read it to you you could see number three however number three even though I got a negative voltage it it was uh, climbing positive so I swapped the probes around uh, the input signal and uh, it went positive and was going towards the negative side not sure what that means but there you go I think that means not very good for my negative voltage I don't have two power supplies uh, to tether together so I took two 9 volt batteries and I hooked them that way brand new fresh out of the packet batteries and that's what I got for that a lot of people said hey uh, put that in circuit and test them in circuit so that's what I done here a chore getting this little board out of there but I got it and tested them in circuit um, this is my diode on the uh, 
Voltometer diode check good. This is my negative voltage. Could not get a reading in or out on it. This is my plus five. And my plus five. Could not get a reading on it. This is my plus 15. Uh, my plus 15, I was getting something like 18 volts in and about 15, 16 volts out. And after a while, slowly ramp up to it, this would get really, really warm to the touch. I wouldn't let it get burning hot, but uh, definitely uncomfortable. Uh, what I have done, I have checked all the components, all the capacitors on this, and everything comes out fine. Visual check of the traces and solder joints, everything looks fine. I see no issues. I pulled this plug out several times and reseated it while testing, and no, uh, no changes. Guess I should get some light on the situation so we could see better. Uh, let's see here. Per Westel, and that's something else I was aiming for at the same time he suggested was to check the capacitors. Uh, he was thinking that I had an issue with C23, which is this capacitor right here. This one here. And both of these checked fine. This one uh, did not. In circuit, did not check fine. Uh, these all checked fine. Uh, all the other ones checked fine, had no issue. This was the only one that did not check fine. And this one here is C24. Once I snipped it out of circuit, and tested it, it it was just fine. I had no issues. But I did bodge in a replacement, temporary. Uh, same thing, no issues, uh, uh, no no other issues noted, and nothing resolved itself. Same same status. Uh, my. Uh, My plus 15 light was the only one that uh, illuminated. My plus 5 and my negative 15 did not. Check these two resistors right here, and they seem to be okay. Of course, everything's in circuit I'm testing. Come back to this area back here. trying to check my wiring from my power supply just to make sure uh, my secondaries are fine. And from what I could tell, testing, uh, tapping in right here, it uh, they all gave me voltage. Trying to Backtrack my 11 volts, which comes up into these this plug right here and through these pins. Uh, I unplugged this from the from here. I could not get any voltage whatsoever off of that pin. Let me get my flashlight so we could see. So that pin right there, once I pulled it out of uh, out of place, I could not get any voltage on it. And so I tried to backtrack and follow all of that. According to the schematic and I very well could be reading it wrong. 
uh, as stated, my eyes, uh, this really, really hurts my eyes looking at all this small detail. Plus, I look at it on my big screen, and uh, same thing, hurts the eyes. According to the uh, legend, um, you read this as a resistor. This is the wiring. And I thought I read it right and trying to follow the snake to uh, confirm which one. Oh, right here. I think blue. I missed that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have to come back and test that. Oops. Couldn't, couldn't see what I was pointing at. Uh, going to have to come back and test that. But I couldn't... Uh, couldn't uh, get a reading back out here off of that because I was wanting to, to see if I can get voltage to see where the voltage kind of petered out coming up here and uh, was having a heck of a hard time doing so anyway um, suggestions comments uh, something else to try I'll be more than happy to do the best I can. Um, I'm going to need to pull this off my workbench and get to it um, later on. I have another piece of test gear coming in this coming week that I need to test and make sure it's valid. Because if that one ain't, then I'm going to send that one back. I ended up with this because, well, I've been wanting one for quite some time, and uh, I got this at a heck of a steal. And this could be why I got it at a steal. wasn't planning on buying this. I've noticed a lot of good deals just pop up, and this is something I just could not pass on. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have. But either way, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll all get this thing. I would really hate to farm this out to somebody. Uh, as you know, that might be rather spendy. But we'll see. Anyway, um, that's it in a nutshell. Again, thank you to everybody. And if you have further instructions, uh, I, will, uh, I will try doing just that and posting a video at a later date when I can. Anyway, that'll do it for me. Thanks again for your help. I appreciate it. Take care.